Welcome to Goyo's Garden and Tie Dyes. I'm Greg. All right. Today we will be doing a Gildan Adult Small. The shirt has been soaked in soda ash for at least 20 minutes or longer and then spun dry. Uh, I have a little panda spin dryer that I use. If you don't have one, your regular washing machine on the spin cycle will work just fine. So this shirt is actually going to be a scrunch hang dye. Uh, Casual Collisions did it. And I seen Angie over at Fun Endeavors tried it. And a loyal uh, subscriber of mine suggested that I do it. I'm so sorry. I don't want to mispronounce your name, but it'll appear at the top of the screen right now. Thanks again. Yes, I just think, think I need just a little bit more scrunch on it. Being the first one, it was hard to tell how much to scrunch up and how much to hang over. But I think I'm gonna throw on one more rubber band. And it's a very, very loose scrunch because I wanted the dye to go in. So we're putting on citrus yellow, only two colors with this one here. Uh, citrus yellow and peony. We'll do the peony on either side. And like I said, this was my first one and I learned a half dozen things that I'll be doing differently next time. But I definitely will be doing this pattern again or this style again. One, I'll be adding a little bit more dye to the end of the shirt as it starts to go over. And I was thinking about even maybe uh, laying down some cheesecloth on it first, put the dye on the cheesecloth and fold it over and just spray the cheesecloth in this way. It'll hold the dye in one place and not push it off the side. Don't know if you understand what I mean by that, but that's what I'm going to try. <laughs> and I did get some different cheesecloth. This stuff here is pretty tight. And I was never seeing it was pulling up. So I have some new stuff I'm going to try. And if it works out better, I will post it in my description box. And this is just a regular yard sprayer. I think uh, either a two gallon one, I think I paid $24 for it. Gallon one, you can get them for $19. I did get a different one, a fan one. Uh, for outside and what I'm doing, it just wasn't working right. But for cleaning up, it does a job. So I was trying to put a shim under there to level that out a little bit. I thought that uh, muck pulling on the bucket was going to affect the shirt, but it's actually up high enough off the bucket to not pull. It sure looks like it's sitting in it. And I soaked the bottom of the shirt with the sprayer in hopes that the wet shirt would help pull it down, the dye down. And I think I'll be changing my video camera angle here. There's no reason to look at it straight up and down. You kind of want to see what's going on the, the side of it over there too. Okay, so I'll add some more to the end that I should have did in the first place. Help work it down. And one thing at the end of the video that I actually didn't show 
was I gave the whole thing a quick sprinkle of soda ash. Because I did add more dye to it and it did get a workout. Yeah, like I said, I still wasn't sure how much of a scrunch I should make. I just kind of went below the sleeves, I believe. Give me some kind of line there to go off of. Yeah, these hang dyers, a lot of uh, different ways you can do it for sure. call that one good and here it is the white lines you see they actually are a light yellow a light pinkish color there's no white on it so I kind of I like the idea of where that's going but I'll like I said I'll be doing it a little differently next time all right well thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you like it, please hit like. And if you want to share it, by all means do. Once again, thank you, and I'll see you next time.